Oh, good morning everybody. Welcome to Thursday. Um, bit of a wet start this morning. I was worried I was going to need to try and find a spot out of the rain, but down here uh, at the lagoon area of uh, at Redcliffe, um, it's actually bright and sunny. All the clouds are behind me. It was absolutely pouring to get down here. Um, but right now it's it's absolutely uh, spectacular and it's absolutely beautiful and it kind of lends itself well to to the scripture I had for today. Uh, I went and visited with a, a person uh, recently and I won't um, obviously I won't mention names it's not what I do but man was really struggling uh, with with a few things just life um, the journey of life and trying to find a dry spot here and as we were talking um, the scripture of Habakkuk popped um, into my mind and it's it was like that this morning you know you, it would be easy to get up and go ah oh, it's gonna be such a miserable day um, you know just getting to work or wherever you're going driving in a car is just a, such a pain I've noticed that there's a, a rule in Brisbane that if it rains you drive 10 kilometers an hour faster and 10 meters closer to the car in front of you because you've got to keep those insurance companies and the panel meters busy um, and as I said, you know, we were talking and um, he actually found this, this um, piece of scripture himself, um, which, is, which is fantastic because it's, that's what scripture there, is there for, is for us in the good times and the dark times. And if you can find it yourself um, as the Holy Spirit moves you, um, all the more rewarding because, because I, I see that as God speaking directly um, to you. If, if someone else has to point it out, then often it doesn't suit or doesn't doesn't sit well with the with the situation. But um, if God leads you to that particular piece of scripture yourself, then it's it's fantastic, and it's in, found in Habakkuk, and it's right near the end after after all the doom and gloom that's spelled out. Um, verse seventeen says, "Even though the fig trees have no blossoms, and there no, are no grapes on the vines." Even though the olive crop fails and the fields lie empty and barren, even though the flocks die in the fields and the cattle barns are empty, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer, able to tread upon the heights. It's an amazing promise that even if everything around you appears to be dark and overcast and gloomy, even if there seems to be no answer to prayer, even if it's been an almost lifelong battle, the promise is that the Lord is your strength. See, this side of the kingdom, we were never promised an easy road. The depth and the weight of sin upon creation has guaranteed that there won't be an easy road. It'll appear, it'll appear for some that it is, but everyone has to face the same question at the end. Who or what have you put your faith, your trust, or your, your belief in? And at the end of Habakkuk, the conclusion is the same as it is in Lamentations from, from Solomon, the same as it is in Ecclesiastes, the same as it is right through the whole Bible. The only sure, um, steadfast, constant is God like the weather this morning. It's gone from dark and gloomy to bright and sunny. Circumstances change, our lives change. We can one day be full of sunshine, next day be full of rain. One day we can be full of rain, and the next day we wonder where the rainbows came from. And that's the beautiful thing about storms. Rainbows always come. That's the beautiful thing about sin. It will come to an end. That is a beautiful thing. It will come to an end. And that we will see God in all of his glory all of his majesty and live with him forever it's worth holding on to and worth hanging on to because it's very easy to focus on the doom and the gloom but my encouragement is to find the sunshine where you can let's pray father I want to thank you for today thank you for this new morning thank you for the sunshine that's just appeared on the coast and um, lord thank you for this space and this time to be in Lord, it truly is a blessing to open your word and find encouragement and strength in, in times that are uncertain, times that appear dark, times that appear 
completely out of our control. And so, Lord, as we find the blessings in those scriptures, I pray that we find ways to bless others with those scriptures. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, my friends, now you don't need to see the rubbish bin as a closing shot. I'll take a trip down here. And I think there's still some more rain coming, but right now, enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy it and enjoy your day. And until we see each other again, take care, God bless, and I'll see you soon.